Good evening, I'm Anderson Cooper, New York. Welcome to 360. We'll cover all the latest stories from around the globe. But first, let's go to today's special guest anchor from CNN's world headquarters in Atlanta for check of what's making headlines at this hour. Thanks, Anderson. This is CNN, the most trusted name in news. Reporting from the CNN World Headquarters in Atlanta, I'm Adam Welch with the CNN News Update. Our top story this hour, air traveling in the, new west, in the Midwest is returning to normal following a storm that blanketed the Great Lakes region with several inches of snow. Only two dozen flights were canceled Saturday morning at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport, aviation officials said. That was in a sharp contrast to Friday when nearly 300 flights were canceled at O'Hare because of the weather and delays which averaged 30 to 45 minutes. Yet some were still elated by the wonderland. In other news, travel in 2007 was, was marked by high gas prices, new passport rules, and a record high air travel. 2008, experts say Americans may take shorter trips or choose destinations closer to home where their dollar goes much further. But they will still travel. The conference board's most recent consumer survey found that 45.8% of Americans intend to take a vacation within six months, down just a tad from 46.4% a year ago. International hotspots include Beijing, Central America, Italy, and Eastern Europe. But domestic travel could benefit from the weak dollar and other trends. Lonely Planet, the, guide, the guidebook publisher, picked the U.S. as its number one destination for 2008. In entertainment news, who says there's nothing new on your TV? Not video gamers. As the Hollywood writer strike drags toward 2008, the video game industry is hoping a lack of fresh episodes in prime time could motivate more people to pick up video game controllers instead of remote controls. Because game publishers rely almost completely on non-union talent to create a video game, the Writers Guild of America Walkout now is in its eighth week. Hasn't been an issue for the gaming industry. Only a handful of writers are represented by the WGA and they fall outside of the jurisdiction of the current strike. Sales of consoles Games and accessories hit $2.63 billion in November, up 52% from last year. Strike or no strike, the gaming industry is welcoming everyone. And finally, in sports news, college football's uh, year of the Cinderella game came to an abrupt end Tuesday night at the Louisiana Superdome. On the first night of 2008, Georgia did uh, Hawaii exactly what teams like Georgia have been able to do to teams like Hawaii for more of sports history, dominate them. The Bulldogs' 41-10 Sugar Bowl blowout produced a harsh ending to a previously undefeated Warriors storybook season. Georgia used an overwhelming dose of defensive speed to completely shut down Hawaii's previously potent passing offense. Hawaii's um, defense eventually did a better job bottling up the Bulldogs' runners, but by then its offensive counterparts were well on their way to a six-turnover night that would doom any hopes of a comeback. Bummer. And that's our report for now. For, for a check of the news any time of the day, just log on to our website at CNN.com, AOL keyword CNN. Reporting from the CNN Center in Atlanta, I'm Adam Welch, and have a great day. See the newsroom and studios of CNN's world headquarters in Atlanta. See what it takes to cover the world 24-7. Shop our latest merchandise at the Turner Store. Check out your favorite anchors and become a star in your own newscast. Call or visit us online for daily tour information and reservations. Then, go Inside CNN.